Hey everyone, it's Omega Alpha here, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We continue our journey at day 5, and we've got somewhat of a large group beside us, but they're broken up, so we can see what we can do. I've made the decision that, based upon where we are currently, I want to see how far we can get towards the storage units on this side. So the ones that you go, um, just the small storage lockers. I'm going to go in there, see if we can get uh, jerry cans of fuel. Because I think if we can get the jerry cans of fuel, we can go across to the Corpman Medical, um, that street over there. And I'm fairly certain one of those cars, because I think there was two there, one of those cars will have a key, will allow us to run. And I mean, worst case scenario, we've got that blue thing behind, and that road behind us. We could use that if it worst came to worst. So technically, we do have a runnable car. We just need fuel in order to do it. But like I said, we're going to see how far we can get towards the see how far we can get towards the storage units. Okay, let's just now that just the one after us actually. And that's drawn the second. God, these mallets are so bad. There we go, there's the rest of them. Yeah. Okay, there's one of them down, so at least one of them's gone now. We can carry on with the other the other one. It takes like five hits just to get them to go down. But I'll take that and we'll dismantle it. Nothing else on them though. Okay, so yeah, that car there is not going to be runnable. It's going to be just a storage. Uh, let's just go this side of the this side of the road so we can avoid those zombies up there. We don't need to fight them if we don't have to. What's in here? Toilet paper. Nice. Oh, there's a massive group there. See, so yeah, ideally we also want to clear this office space out as well. Because if we can clear that out, that gives us a route towards the main the main buildings of uh, Mulder out, the shops and things. Okay, I'm using this shovel. Yeah, it gives us more it gives us an access point to the to the, the shops in that area. Okay, there's a lot more than I anticipated being. Especially with poor weapons. Go down. Thank you. Nice. Nice. Ho oh, ho. There we go. Okay. Panic over. I've already got a hard heart. Don't need another one. Uh, school bag. I mean, yeah, we can. We can use that for storage space in our in our base. I can't use a uh, backpack storage is full actually. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's two more over here hiding. We will have to see what the storage area is like, because obviously I'm assuming there's going to be at least three or four. Small to medium groups in there. Okay. So there's that group there over the road. There's that group there. I think we can take them. If we just get a few at a time, we'll we'll easily take it. Okay, no one seems to be interested in that. So let's just a few more. Three's perfect. I think this is going to be a battle for the rest of the day, I think, to be honest, just trying to get into the storage lockers. Oh, nice. Oh, walkie-talkie. I don't want to dismantle that just yet because I want to get the skill books um, before the skills up before we do that. 
So just the watches and things for now will dismantle, but the walkie-talkies, we need to test them first as well for radio channels. Come on. Come on. Just the one, really? Okay. I was hoping that that would have loaded some more to us. There we go. I mean, there's a letter opener. We'll take it. It's better than nothing. That was so close. Oh, there we go. Oh, unfortunately, we've pulled all of them in. We should be very careful here. Bit of a distance between them all. That's it. Okay, we heavy loaded at the moment. Oh, it's getting intense. Oh no, no, no! Oh, I've been bit. Okay. Um, bandage that, please. It's on my wrist as well. Uh, yeah, it's on my forearm as well, so... It's going to make everything slow. I'm just going to have to abandon. Unfortunately, we're going to have to run away. There's no way we can fight all of these with that swing speed. It's just not possible. The problem is I want to pull them all into our area. Okay, we've leveled up our small blunt. Or short blunt. Yeah, I just need to go. This is not going to work anymore. What I'm going to try and do is pull them all into this house. But this is not doing any damage to them at all, I don't think. So we'll pull them around. They should jump through that window. Yeah, they've jumped through the window. So we've got one on one now, so we should be able to take this one out. Okay, and there's another one. Two will be okay. See, the problem we've got now is we're a slow healer as well, so it's going to take us a lot longer to recover from that wound. Obviously, we know we're not infected because we would have died instantly if that was the case. Okay. I think the worst thing we could have done is just kept them in the area. Because if we're going to be staying at home for the next few days, then... It's not going to be a good thing, them roaming around our, our neighbourhood. Let's get rid of those wooden mallets. Get rid of the shovel as well, actually. Okay, still okay for the bandage. Okay, there's one. And there's another one coming through the window. I think that's all that's left. I think it's just these three that are left. Okay, there we go. So even though it was stupid to do that, we were still injured, but I, th I just needed to clear them off out of the area. I'm just going to go and have a quick run through the house just to make sure there's no other ones left. No, I think we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Whoops, I locked myself in. Yep, all good. So, what time are we on? 6pm, okay. Here's another one, I'm just going to get the other side of it. And then drop it down. Okay, is any of them on this side of the road? If there's any on this side of the road, then we can take those ones down, but... 
I don't really want to be going any further. There's two there. Oh, there's a car there. Let's check that out. I'm going to take that watch and dismantle it as well. I think we had one in our inventory as well. There we go. Car, car. Nope, it's locked. Okay, please have a key inside of the house. And we'll take that. And we'll take that. Uh, we've already read that one, so we don't need it. Uh, medical cabinet. Nope, nothing in it. It's empty. Bedroom. As usual, nothing in the, in the drawers. Some ammo. We'll take that. Okay, some food. That's good. So this is why we've been hoarding as well, because obviously times like these, where we'll need to probably stay in the house for a couple of days, just so we can recover. But unfortunately, there's no key in, in that house for that car. So I think we'll smash the window again. And yeah, of course, there's no key. Nope, some adhesive tape. Oh, that's a pretty good find. Let's look in the boot as well. Uh, nothing in there. I mean, while we're here, we may as well check out this house as well. Okay. Close those doors. Okay, I think it's pretty clear. Head into the bedroom. Acoustic guitar. No thanks. So matches, we'll take them. Cold packs, we'll take them as well. Uh, mac macaroni cheese. Yes, please. Cooking for beginners, we've got that one. Uh, coffee. Okay, I think that's everything in this house. Oh, a hammer and a crowbar. Nice find. I'm just going to put that crowbar on my back because we've got an empty space there. There it is. Okay. Um, so we're going to make our way back now. I'll probably have to take a few days just to recover, just to see what we can do. So thanks very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.